right, guys, welcome back to another trucking vlog. Is that my trainer right there? Hold on, let me call him. Pretty sure that's him. See if I. Uh... I'm pretty sure that's him. Hey, I think I think I saw you. Oh, hold on, I uh go under the thing here. There you are. What's up, man? I think I saw you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, you're in Joplin. You just got in your truck, right? Yeah, I just got where are you at? Uh, I'm back over in row one. So uh, we ended up talking to him for a minute, but now we're over here at the fuel island. Gonna get some fuel. Can't really show you guys my EFS card, so give me just a second while I fill this out. We'll see how close I was. It might be like 38.3 or something, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, we're gonna get fuel now. <laughs> Dude, last night, I, uh, I was like, I got here at like 1 a.m. Can we get fuel going? Why are we not getting any fuel? Maybe we gotta start the other pump first. Let's give that a try. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Normally it's the driver's side first. Anyways, we got here at 2 a.m. last night and uh, we like uploaded all of our videos to the computer. And dude, I just started feeling sick. So I laid in my bed for about three hours. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't edit right now. I'm not even kidding. I spent like the next four hours inside the terminal, dude. So I, it's been a, I was off duty a lot last night. So I think it was like 17 hours. I guess I can pump this one first. Normally you gotta go the other side, finish pumping the other side. Um, but our delivery's tomorrow at oh, 7 a.m. in Denton, Texas. And uh, we're headed there tonight and the place is supposed to have overnight parking. So we'll get parked there. Um, do like an eight, two split. And, uh, you know get it unloaded tomorrow morning and then we're going to georgia which is a really good run and this is like the first time in a while i've been pre-planned with decent miles um normally you gotta like wait till you're unloaded then go on the board but i got planned out ahead so we're gonna get lucy washed here in the wash bay she's gonna be looking all sharp and stuff and then after that um you know we're headed to georgia after or tomorrow on wednesday so hopefully we should be in Georgia on Thursday because it's 900 miles. So I'll probably knock out like 400 of it tomorrow and then I can drop it off early because it's a drop and hook and it's like a huge DC. So I'll get there Thursday, um, sometime Thursday, drop it off there. And then uh, it might be a little while till we get out of Georgia, but fingers crossed that we can get out of there pretty quick. So I think we're about an hour out of Joplin here um we're driving down the road and on the eastbound lanes we're headed westbound on the eastbound lanes there's a state patrolman on the side and i was like what there's no car he's not what is he doing on the side like with his lights on and i get about i look just a little bit further down the road and there's a uh, cattle that had gotten on the other side of the fence like facing the high interstate and i was trying to warn everyone over the cb like hey guys like and want that left lane, there's a cattle over in the ditch and state patrolman's getting ready to approach it. So, I mean, I think cattle are pretty like uh, used to humans, especially if it was on a farm, like it wasn't just a stray cattle. I don't even think, think those exist like stray cows. But, so, but they have startled him, you know, and if the cattle runs out into the interstate, it's gonna cause a lot of damage to a truck so i tried to warn them but no one got over no one heard me so i don't know it's kind of pointless to even have a cb no one ever talks over it honestly i'd say if you think you need a cb anymore you really don't like i'll even be in traveling i'm like anybody know what's going on 
nobody will say anything. All right, guys, I stopped at this Loves to get some drinky drink for tonight. We got 85, 75 miles to go here. Oh, I was trying to get the tablet to tell me how many hours I had left. We have 75 miles left. Um, hopefully I can find parking. I spent $17 on like snacks, dude. Oh my gosh, just, oh my goodness, dude. This road sucks. As low as is brand new, but this intersection up here is not made for trucks. I literally swung out as wide as I could and I was still close to clipping the curb. All right guys, so I got here um, and I guess I'm parking out on the street. Um, I got here, the gate was open and there was like a couple employees standing outside and I was here the other day and it's just like a gravel lot with like just a whole bunch of trailers sitting there. So I was like, hey, can I park in there? And they're like, oh no, this is off limits. You gotta park on the street. So uh, here we are on the street. There's a CFI driver parked behind me back there. Um, there's enough room for two trucks to, or a truck to go through there. I'm just hoping I don't wake up to a parking ticket. All right guys, so it's the next day. We're just gonna make this one video. Um, but we're here at this shipper and we are gonna back our trailer in to door 21, but it's a blind side again. It's just places not need to be like this, but it is. So I'll teach you a little secret. When you're setting up a blind side, you wanna open up this little window back here. I don't know how drivers uh, can get around doing blind side stuff with this window closed. really helps you see a lot more but the good thing is we have two spots to kind of work it in with so pretty good right now I just need to get it like generally in this right area and then I can set it up for um, just like a couple adjustments around a door 20 So if you can see, we're not quite where we need to be here, but so actually, it probably wouldn't be too bad if we went right and straight, then one turn right. This probably help us out a little bit. I don't know, we need to already go more right. losing it it's so hard to do one so because you just you can't peek your head out the window like you want to just wish I could see more over that way straight now We're pretty close dude I'm just off a little bit so we need to go hard this way hard right and back hard left should be pretty close to good here hate when you have to like touch your mirror for 
blind side. Here's the dock, we found it. All right, now we just gotta wait on them to unload us. So I sat in that door for 30 minutes, right? And then the guy comes out and he's like trying to speak to me in Spanish. I don't know a single thing of Spanish other than like bathroom and stuff like that. He's like, he, he's trying to tell me that I gotta bring it over here to this drop yard, but I had no idea what he was saying, dude. Anyways, here I am pulling into this drop yard here, and this is where we're dropping it. And I was like, do they have empties there? And he's like, no, you gotta drop it back at, uh, or you need to come back here and grab an empty. But if I find an empty here, dude, I'm not going back. I've already driven like four extra miles today. No overnight truck parking. I almost pulled in here last night to try to park instead of parking out on that street. But I'm just gonna find an empty here. If there is one, I'm taking it. I'm not going back. And there looks like there's a couple good candidates. That one straight ahead is brand new. That's like the best candidate right there. I'm gonna try to find a brand new one, but we're gonna have a straight back here. So what we need to do is just cut it over here. And hard right, that 51827 is actually brand, brand new. If that's empty, I'm taking that. The only problem that's gonna suck is a lot of these trailers are gonna look like they're just washed my truck too. We set that up pretty good, I think. <laughs> we did, what the heck? That's like the best straight back we've set up in a minute, dude. And at least I don't gotta wait for them to unload me, but I shouldn't have wasted 30 minutes there. They should have just been like, you need to go here and set up, have me back into the door, blind side. All that fun stuff. He said they have like four of these trailers with the same stuff on them waiting. Is gonna work so I'm gonna get out and drop it all right guys so as soon as I dropped that empty I got a notification that my load had been uh, taken away from me so I was like dang what's going on um, and it turns out um, I guess they didn't think I was gonna be able to make that pickup time at 2 which I was like 10 minutes away and it would have been close but I probably would have been there at like 2 you know um, so now instead of going to Georgia, we got a load for 500 miles from Dallas, Texas to Kansas City. Um, but they sent a message out this morning that it's training day for Oklahoma DOT and they're pulling over a lot of drivers and doing inspections. So um, I have one alcohol permit that's expired. It just expired like on the 23rd of this month. So um i'm gonna have to get chad to like email me it or something that way i can make sure i got it and uh because i don't know if i'll be able to print it but we have a loves here in four miles i'm gonna stop and take a shower at this loves and get lunch uh because like the joplin showers are nice but it's just not it's just not convenient like it's like a bathroom stall kind of thing with a shower and there's just not much room in there. There's like nowhere to set like a towel down or like, you know, you gotta do it all standing up. So we're just gonna grab a shower here at this Loves. So I have the right away because it's telling the left lane to merge right. So I'm gonna let these three cars go. But then after that, this like Escalade is gonna have to wait.
because it said lane ends merge right so that means like all these people have to come over this way I don't know why they think they just you know maybe it's right lane ends merge left I don't know they're just gonna kind of block this car off though since they were nice but I'm pretty sure it said right lane ends we went and got a shower uh it was a great shower we're leaving now I got lucky dude this was like the only spot in here um so I got really lucky the rest of it was like reserved and I knew I was just gonna stop here for like an hour take a shower so that's what I did and uh, now we're leaving here so that back was kind of hard because uh, of this curb like if the curb was out like another two foot it would have been easier but like I kept having to like move and pull up and stuff to uh, you know get it to go the way I wanted it to and then we had Boston Market because this I keep seeing like TAs in Texas with Boston Market so I was like oh damn so I was like all right I thought like Boston Market was like a sandwich shop like uh, you know just like sandwiches oh boy it's gonna take a minute to get out of here isn't it yeah, there's traffic all over that road but I thought Boston Market was like a sandwich shop right so I was like all right not that's not bad and then I found out that it was like meatloaf and rotisserie chicken so we're gonna be sitting here a while before someone's gonna let us out because we gotta have like five cars let these other trucks out before we even get a chance. So it's gonna be a minute because that light sucks too. So uh, I think I kind of already said it, but see if I, uh, hold on. So I think I already said it this morning, but see if I uh, sent out a message that it was DOT training day here in Oklahoma. And I just got pulled into the scale and uh, I pulled up on the scales and it was like uh, two minutes I sat there and waited and the truck in front of me got pulled to the back so I was like oh great I'm going to the back too and then after that long two minutes it was like proceed to interstate so I was like thank goodness but I don't know I just don't really want to have my an inspection done I don't think that'd be very fun all right guys we made it here to Joplin uh, I don't know how far we are away from our next place, but uh, we'll be there tomorrow. Kansas City is only like 100 something miles from here. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for future content and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on. Everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer. Look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me. Yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.